Welcome to the Baby Cubby. Today we're going to be talking about the Nunarava convertible car seat. The Nunarava can be used rear facing for children who start at five pounds or more, and then it goes forward facing until children about 65 pounds. Um, and it comes in four colors. The Rava has some aesthetic features that set it apart. There are silicone cup holders that pop out of the right and left sides of the car seat to hold your child's snacks or drinks. The silicone material makes it easy to collapse and put away, and you can even pop it up and out to clean out any crumbs or spills. It also has fabric buckle holders on either side to make it easier to put your child in the seat and take them out. This feature prevents hassle and tangling. Lastly, the Rava has an adjustable footrest. As your child grows, you can pop the footrest out, making it more comfortable for them. Now let's go over some of the safety features. On either side of the backrest, they have included side impact protection pods. Pop them out on whichever side is closest to the car door, both if the child is seated in the middle. This will provide more impact protection in the event of a crash. The Rava also has 10 recline settings, five for rear facing and five for forward facing which are to ensure that your child is sitting at the right angle for their age. You'll notice the weight limits clearly labeled on each color for your convenience. The rear facing inclines for children from five to 50 pounds are marked in blue. To adjust, press the gray button and tilt the car seat forward or backward for the desired recline. You will feel the seat lock into place as you stop at a number. The forward facing inclines for children from 25 to 65 pounds are marked in red. Adjust in the same way by pressing the gray button and tilting the seat. Now we'll show you each installation process. We'll start with the rear facing settings. To start, make sure the cup holders on either side are popped up. This will reveal the belt path. Unbutton the cushion fabric and move it to reveal the trap door. It will be labeled in blue for rear facing installation. Pull the seat belt down, making sure that there are no twists and thread it through the belt path until you have enough slack to buckle it. From here, you'll need to make sure that there is no slack in the remainder of the belt. Pull the belt tight from above its position in the trap door and continue tightening all the way up the belt path. Close the trap door. It may take a little bit of force, but make sure it clicks shut. Just a reminder that the tension doors are not a substitute for locking off your seatbelt. You still need to pull out the seatbelt all the way and make sure it ratchets back in to lock it off. Now make sure to check your installation, ensuring that the car seat does not move more than an inch side to side and back to front at the belt path. Button the seat fabric back into place and you're ready to put your child in. A tip for uninstalling the Rava is to first unbuckle the seatbelt. A lot of tension is built up under that trap door and you don't want it to fling open. Um, so if you just unbuckle it, it'll make it really easy. Now we'll go over the installation process for forward facing. To start, make sure that the seat is in one of the recline numbers in red. The process is very similar to rear facing, but the belt path is slightly different. Unbutton the seat fabric again, and you will see the forward facing trap door labeled in red. You will see the belt insertion on the sides of the seat. They're not hidden like the rear facing was under the cup holders, and they are also marked in red. Pull the seat belt down again and thread it through and out the other side, making sure to buckle the belt. Pull out all of the slack from above the tension trap door and hold that tension as you close the door. This will take a bit of force. Make sure to lock the seat belt itself. Now check your installation, making sure that the car seat does not move more than one inch side to side and front to back at the belt path. Remember when you install forward facing that you will also be using the rear tether, which is located on the back of the car seat. Unclip it from its position and pull it either through or around the headrest of your car seat, depending what is stated in your car's manual. Pull the tether all the way out and clip it to the base of the seat. This clip is sometimes on the ceiling or the back of your car depending on the directions in your car manual. Make sure to tighten once it's clipped. Now we'll talk about harnessing your child in the seat once it's installed. The new Narava has a button at the top of the headrest that allows you to adjust both the headrest's height and the length of the harness straps depending on your child's size. When your child is seated forward facing, make sure that the harness straps come right out at the shoulder or within an inch above the shoulder. When you buckle the chest clip, make sure that it sits from armpit to armpit on your child. The crotch buckle is also adjustable, so if it's too tight or too close to your child's body, you can adjust it one position forward. Buckle the harness clips into it. Lastly, pull the tether at the bottom of the seat to make sure your child is secure. You should not be able to pinch the fabric of the harness. 
Overall, the new Narava is a great convertible car seat. It has well thought out features that will make transporting your child super easy. Thanks for watching. If you want to shop this product or any other products from our videos, go to babycubby.com. We offer price matching as well as free shipping on orders over $25. If you want to check out another Nuna product that we love, click here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and let us know if you want to see anything else.